Now your question is, why do we need to add a accumulator or a pressure tank when we already have a pump that's able to pressurize up the nutrient? Good question. Okay, component will be our accumulator tank or a pressure tank. These tanks are commonly used on homes that are on well water or in RVs to maintain constant pressure on their pipes. Without constant pressure, you won't get water coming out of your faucet. These tanks are kind of unique. Internally, they have a rubber bladder and that bladder is what really holds the water. The tank itself, is divided into two sections. There is the, uh, the space for the bladder and then there is an air gap. A little physics here. You cannot compress water, but you can compress air. When this tank fills up with your nutrient, that air gap is compressed. So by compressing that air in the tank, you're able to put pressure on the bladder. By putting pressure on that bladder, it will keep or maintain a constant pressure on your, in your system. Therefore, when the nutrient is disconnected from the system, we will still get pressure or water shooting out of our tank because of that compressed air in the tank. And this is why we call it a accumulator. Now your question is, why do we need to add a accumulator or a pressure tank when we already have a pump that's able to pressurize up the nutrient? Good question. The pump is easily the most expensive part of your high pressure aeroponics system. Therefore, anything that we can do to extend the life would be a benefit. But that's one of the purpose of the pressure tank. The pressure tank helps to reduce some of the fatigue and wear on your pump because the pump does not have to run as often when you have an accumulator attached to your system. So with the tank, you get less fatigue, less wear, less demand on your pump, more life, cheaper. It's that simple. But more importantly, your tank serves another purpose. That is that it helps to provide instant and constant pressure to your nozzles when it is called a bond. Without the pressure tank, what will happen is that when the nozzles need a misting cycle, the pump needs to start up. During that startup time, the pressure of the pump is not at 100 PSI, is at something lower. So your nozzles, remember, function at 60 PSI. So during startup, your droplet size will drop off, meaning that your droplet size of your nutrient will be larger than 50 microns, which is not a no deal or a killer to your system, but it does reduce the efficiency that you will get. To have the highest possible efficiency with your growth using high pressure aeroponics, a tank is required. Another question that might come up to like, what size pressure tank should I use? Should I use a large one or should I use a smaller one? Well, keep this in mind. The larger your pressure tank, the more stagnant the nutrient will reside in your tank. What I mean is that when you pressurize your tank, the larger the tank, the longer the nutrient will reside in the tank before it exits. That means that you have more possibility of buildup of solids in a tank. Second, is that the larger the tank, when it comes time to clean out your system or to flush out your nutrient, you will have to throw away more nutrient. Most systems will suffice with a 1.5 to a 2 gallon pressure tank. This pressure tank is a 1.5 gallon um, pressure tank. Another thing too to keep into when choosing your pressure tank, make sure that it is rated for the pressure that you are going to expose this to. This one is um, rated for 100 PSI. So if you're working at a higher PSI, make sure you adapt your pressure tank to match the working pressure that you will put on your system. Subscribe right here now on Aeroponics DOI and let us take you where no gardener has gone before.